Hey guys, welcome back to another episode with your host, me, Winter Tooth 100 and today we are starting off in the A Link to the Past map that we are building together. In the last episode, at the tail end of it, we were actually here, and we built the second uh, Zelda chunk, as we've been calling them. A uh, quick little description there. Zelda chunk is four Minecraft chunks uh, all together. It's a 32 by 32 area. And we built this out. It is the little meadow right next to Link's house. And if we head over this way, you can find where the entrance to the fairy fountain is supposed to be, but we haven't actually included it yet. All of these little things that you could possibly enter, um, we may end up building a replica room somewhere else, pro preferably still within the map, just underground, and setting up a little TP uh, command block system. Possibly. I don't know if we're gonna do that. We might. It'd be a lot of work because there's a lot of little places that would uh, require that to be done. But today we are going to be working on these four Zelda chunks. This one, that one, that guy over there, and this guy. And of course with the eye in the sky replay mod you can actually get a better look at these things. But this is what I've been calling a swamp. It's not a swamp. It's not a swamp. But it is the entrance to the desert, and it uh, can also go to uh, the, the lake over here. But we are going to get some materials together. We're going to be doing some on-camera building today for you guys. And we're also going to be doing uh, several, uh, not just one, maybe only two, possibly three time lapses. Uh, one of which is probably going to be a time lapse chat, because those things are fun and hyper focused and it's really cool but let me get some materials together and we're going to build right here real quick i want to try something with you guys and i had to come all the way back to my base to try it because if you load up these maps uh in the zelda place they will update and they won't have what we want but you should be seeing on this map instead of a green screen because with the power of editing we can replace it you should be seeing uh, an actual top-down view of the map that I am using to map out this Zelda thing that we're working on. So on this map you can actually see all of the different things that we will be building and what it should roughly look like towards the end when it's complete. But I thought it'd be really neat just to show you guys on an in-game map what it's supposed to look like when it's done. Now, let's get to work. So the first thing I like to do when we start in on a new Zelda chunk is remove this border. Um, we're going to be a little careful here. We are working on four chunks today, four Zelda chunks. So we don't want to remove all four of those. Uh, otherwise, that's just a, that's a recipe for getting confused. And I don't want to get confused. So we're going to do these one at a time. And I have the map up in front of me. And I just kind of want to walk through the process a little bit about how I have been working through these as I will not be doing all of these on camera. There's a good chance that most of these chunks will be done during some form of a time lapse, but uh, I definitely will not be doing all of these on camera. Though I will make sure that we do some of these chunks during live streams because they're really fun for live streams. But the first thing I do is I bring up the map. I have a map in front of me of the actual Zelda game and I have it scaled up on my monitor so that every block that is equivalent to a normal block in, in, in Zelda is half an inch on a ruler and using that information I can actually measure the distances and lengths of things on the map and I can actually track how big things are supposed to be. So using that I know that from where this chunk starts and also from this existing here I know where we're gonna start I know that we need to go 12 blocks out in this direction and I am going to map out uh, this the center barrier thing first and then we'll be able to chart out where the water goes and then we'll put the pieces in so I have the replay mod running right now we'll just run through this super fast Now, I am finding this to be a little tricky in that it would be so easy to just connect this up and just confirm that it is, you know, 100% right. 
but I am so hesitant to remove this border wall to determine uh, if that's correct because I don't want to lose this corner and then get confused when we get to this chunk. So I think it's still best to just do the parts that we are certain of and from here I can see that we do have uh, it is two blocks down so right here there's actually a lovely little barrier block one of those big big stones that once you get the gauntlets you could pick it up and throw it uh, we're not gonna be able to obviously do that in this but this is a perfect perfect block because it shows us right away exactly where this next wall is so we didn't even have to do any counting for this all we have to keep track of is that this wall is going to turn in right here uh, kind of mirroring that a little bit and I know that this is going to be five blocks wide so uh, we actually have our starting point for the next one I'm always careful to knock out the grass for these because um, like this for example it wouldn't be as great to work with if there was even the slightest little chance that uh, grass would start growing on this because uh, then we would essentially have to come back up here and tear it all out and start all over and I do not want to do that but this isn't a too tall section so we're gonna run this section all the way down there and it looks like uh, based on the map when you see me turn on this screen it basically means that I'm looking at the map it looks like it's gonna go straight forward into that let me just double check real quick yes so it's 15 blocks looking at the map we're at two already three four five six seven eight nine ten and then very quickly we're gonna throw these on 11 12 see couldn't even go the full 15 perfect and that's exactly how we're gonna be building these things we're gonna be building them um, just to the edges even though I know this goes three more blocks out this way I'm not going to run it out that far. I'm just going to do whatever is in this chunk one at a time. So with that, what do you say we get the eye in the sky and let's time lapse the whole rest of this Zelda chunk and then we'll move on to the next one. Here we started working with all the different barriers and I quickly moved on to adding the path because it was kind of difficult to line things up when it comes to the trees. Uh, fortunately, the trees weren't terribly difficult because we've already placed some trees in, but now we're working on the lake. There's a little, well, I guess not lake, it's more of a pond. There's an actual pond there, and it's got some barriers in it, and we actually got to design the little statue things. Not too much, but it took a long time. Now, I'd like to just very briefly take a closer look at this uh, outside of the replay mod or any kind of time lapse, but... Uh, I've been building these statue things out of uh, Prismarine and I think they look pretty good and it turns out that measuring is the exact right thing to do because there's no genuine way to get into that back area apart from right here. Now this was admittedly difficult. I wasn't sure what to do to simulate those, I don't even know what to call them, they're like stumps and in the game you use the hammer to smush them down. And when they're smushed down, you can walk over them. Here, however, we're just using some oak fence and some nether fence uh, so they don't connect. And since there's no hammer in this game in the first place, you can just walk through these since there'd be no way to actually hammer them down. Uh, there is a dark world portal that's supposed to be back here. And I think I might put something in the ground like uh, maybe a diamond block or something because it's got a cool texture and you know it'd be cool to see it here even though it's not going to actually do anything but I think I think that'd be pretty neat to see it there um, and you can also tell from the replay I didn't fill this thing in with any water and that's because this isn't the whole thing like I said we're stopping hard on Zelda chunks and then we'll do the rest of them and once this one is done they will obviously be connected up and then we can fill it in with water. Uh, there is a water waypoint, um, and I think I will connect these up. I believe there's a water waypoint here. I have to double check. Uh, but there's these little barriers in the water, so you can swim over, and I'll probably do some kind of player detection for this particular spot, and if the player goes there, uh, they'll be teleported to the correlating place on the map. Uh, again, not a playable map, but It'd be fun, like the, the, the little waypoint things are easy enough, just a simple teleportation command. So uh, I will probably definitely include those. But 
For now, let's get the replay mod back up, and this time, let's do an actual fun time lapse with the music, and let's do these other three chunks. Now that was a good time lapse. So I've left this little opening here so we can reach our storage, but this would just simply just bridge across and connect right here. So this will probably be one of the last things we do is come back to this spot and alter it in such a way where players can actually get in and out of here. Uh, I do want to make that, you know, a thing. I guess we could teleport them back to their house and have a special teleporting place from the house. That's always an option. But uh, there was a, cu a couple of things that I stumbled upon that was really difficult. So pretty much up until this point, until we got to about this area, uh, measuring the map with an actual ruler and counting out every half inch being one block, everything has been working exceedingly well everything has been absolutely perfect and it wasn't until we got to this chunk right here where it started to become a little bit of a problem and for the life of me there's still uh an area where it just doesn't make sense to me it, all the measurements are correct which it's really weird from the north from the south from the east and from the west uh this thing is pretty much perfectly centered where it's supposed to be uh, in relation to everything else that's here. And the only thing, the only thing that is not working out correctly is technically from this block down, it's supposed to be five grass blocks before the water starts. And that's it. For some reason, this thing, even though that this is also measured incorrectly, for some reason, it's just slightly off right here. It's one block off, and I'm uh, not sure what exactly is causing it, but it's super minor, but I thought I'd point it out. Uh, if we're going to have minor issues here, we might have them elsewhere in the map, in which case we'll have to come up with clever solutions. But speaking of clever solutions, this down here on the map looks like a yellow or dying grass. And this smart bear is like, you know what, I, what I'm going to do? You know what this smart bear is going to do? I'm going to put down grass and I'm going to turn it into a path block because that's exactly what the path block looks like. This is the path block in this texture pack. It just looks like dirt with a bunch of rocks in it. So it didn't quite turn out as well as it should have. We have the perfect block for this right here. And this texture pack makes this not look as nice but we're gonna we're gonna keep it everything else with the texture pack I think is fantastic and I'm in love with it so uh, one tiny little thing one tiny little thing is, is fine but pretty much for the most part this is this area is done there is one more thing that I would like to uh, go over with you guys if you look at the map that we have um, there's darker spots on the map and it just kind of looks like thicker thicker grass and well we're already using our grass block to uh, be in the place of of bushes uh, so there's like random shrubbery around and that's what we're using this grass for but what if 
What if we instead replace these with ferns and then turn them into two tall ferns, the double tall fern. That way we still get the bushiness of like clearly this is where a bush is and you can walk through it as a player and you're kind of like hidden in it which is kind of exactly how Link is when he walks through the grass he almost looks like he's hidden in within the grass. So what if we did that and then everywhere else we just did normal grass right the two tall ones we would break we'd remove any flowers and then any gaps remaining we would come through with our actual collection of grass and, and fill it in what do you guys think about that there should be a poll on your screen right now should we keep to using the grass as the bushes or should we use the ferns as the bushes so we can get some variety in the field otherwise basically the fields are gonna look like uh, freshly mowed grass all the time all right sure hope you guys are voting uh, again in the top right hand corner it should be on your screen you should be seeing that uh, just let me know if you think the ferns look look nicer I mean you can see them from here actually that looks really good I'm a big fan of it <laughs> that is going to be it for today's episode I know it was a kind of a shorter one We're probably rounding up around 15 minutes if I had to guess maybe a little maybe a little longer than that but we got through four Zelda chunks today. This took a couple of days to actually do and put together, but it's looking really good. I'm very excited about it. I hope you guys are excited about it because we have, oh, uh, let's see, we've done six, seven, six and a half because we haven't finished that chunk over there. So we've done, let's say seven, let's round up. We've done seven Zelda chunks out of 64. <laughs> so we've got a long ways to go. So I sure hope you guys are excited about this because there's a lot left to do, but that will be it for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like if you liked. Subscribe if you haven't. Share with your friends. Hit that notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next one.